third problem for a distribution with f of x is 1 by 2 raised to x x varies from 1 2 3 etc using chebyshev's inequality prove that probability of mod x minus 2 less than or equal to 2 greater than or equal to 1 by 2 while the actual probability is 15 by 60. Here we want to prove this result using Chebyshev's inequality. So appropriate form of Chebyshev's inequality for proving this result is P of mod x minus mu less than or equal to t sigma greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by t square. So, we will write by Chebyshev's inequality P of mod x minus mu less than or equal to t sigma greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by t square. And for applying this Chebyshev's inequality, we want to know the value of mu, sigma and t. So, how we can find mu and sigma? For finding mu and sigma, we have the form of probability density function f of x equal to 1 by 2 raised to x. We know that e of x equal to mu and v of x equal to sigma square. And which is again equal to e of x square minus e of x whole square. Okay. So, E of x is equal to being a discrete random variable, we can write summation over x fx. Here the summation is from 1 to infinity, which is equal to summation from 1 to infinity x into what is f of x? It is 1 by 2 raised to x which is equal to 1 into 1 by 2 plus 2 into 1 by 2 square plus 3 into 1 by 2 cube plus etc. Let us take a 1 by 2 outside we have 1 by 2 into This one become 1 plus 2 into 1 by 2 plus 3 into 1 by 2 square plus etc. And we know that 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus etc. is equal to 1 minus x raised to minus 2. If x equal to 1 by 2, this expression will be like this. So, we can write this as 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 raised to minus 2. That is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 raised to minus 2 that is 1 by 2 into 2 square that is equal to 2. So our mean e of x equal to 2 that is mu equal to 2. Now we are going to find variance of x for that one we need e of x square e of x is already known. e of x is equal to e of x square minus e of x whole square 
that is e of x square minus what is e of x e of x is 2 that is 2 square that is e of x square minus 4 let us find e of x square which is equal to we are going to write e of x square as e of x into x minus 1 plus x x into x minus 1 plus x is x square e of x into x minus 1 plus e of x that is e of x into x minus 1 plus 2 e of x into x minus 1 is equal to summation 1 to infinity x into x minus 1 into 1 by 2 raised to x which is equal to 1 into 0 into 1 by 2 plus 2 into 1 into 1 by 2 square plus 3 into 2 into 1 by 2 cube plus 4 into 3 into 1 by 2 raised to 4 plus etc. Which is equal to 2 into 1 by 2 square. This term is 0 plus 3 into 2 into 1 by 2 cube plus 4 into 3 into 1 by 2 raised to 4 plus etc. Now let us take 2 into 1 by 2 square outside. 2 into 1 by 2 square into this term is 1. 1 plus 3 into 1 by 2 plus what happened to 4 into 3? When we are taking 2 into 1 by 2 square outside this one becomes 2 raised to 2 and here we have a 2, 2 into 3. This one becomes 2 into 3 that is 6 into 1 by 2 square plus etc. And we know that 1 plus 3x plus 6x square plus etc. is equal to 1 minus x raised to minus 3. Here we can write x as 1 by 2. So e of x into x minus 1 is 2 into 1 by 2 square into 1 minus 1 by 2 raised to minus 3 that is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 raised to minus 3 that is 2 cube by 2 that is 4. Therefore e of x square is e of x into x minus 1 plus 2. e of x square is equal to e of x into x minus 1 plus 2 that is equal to 4 plus 2 that is equal to 6. So what is variance of x? Variance of x is e of x square minus 4. Therefore variance of x is e of x square minus 4 that is 6 minus 4 that is equal to 2. Therefore we have mean mu equal to 2 and sigma square that is variance is 2 that is sigma is equal to root 2. Now let us substitute mu and sigma in the appropriate form of Chebyshev's inequality p of mod x minus mu less than or equal to t sigma greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by t square. P of mod x minus mu less than or equal to t sigma greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by t square. P 
becomes p of mod x minus instead of mu we have 2 less than or equal to root 2t greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 by t square. Now we have p of mod x minus 2 less than or equal to 2 greater than or equal to 1 by 2. Given p of mod x minus 2 less than or equal to 2 greater than or equal to 1 by 2. Comparing this one and this one, we can write root 2t is equal to 2. So, t equal to 2 by root 2 that is root 2. Therefore, t square is 2. 1 by t square equal to 1 by 2. 1 minus 1 by t square equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2. Therefore, p of mod x minus 2 less than or equal to 2 is greater than or equal to 1 by 2. Hence the proof. Now we want to calculate actual probability. And we want to show that it is 15 by 16. So let us calculate the actual probability. Actual probability of P of mod x minus 2 less than or equal to 2 is equal to P of minus 2 less than or equal to x minus 2 less than or equal to 2. That is P of, we have to remove this minus 2 from this expression so Minus 2 plus 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 plus 2. That is p of 0 less than x less than or equal to 4. Here x varies from 1, 2, 3 etc. So this is p of 1 plus p of 2 plus p of 3 plus p of 4. And what is P of X? P of X is F of X which is equal to 1 by 2 raised to X. So when X equal to 1, this one become 1 by 2. When X equal to 2, this one become 1 by 2 square, etc. So this is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 Q plus 1 by 2 raised to 4. Let us write P of X is equal to 1 by 2 raised to X which is equal to 15 by 16 by calculation.